Hello and welcome. How are you doing today? Today I am planning to show you that how I I check that is my this cylinder head okay. And there is this cylinder head what is just now in this uh, this upside down and then when I rotate this in the right position then, then we can see this other side also and here is this other side where are those this is like cylinder head where are two camshafts first this intake camshaft in here and there is this out this uh, exhaust camshaft and then here we can see those uh, those valve springs and, and just in here is this valve this up point and valves are in here and there is four valves per cylinder and in that hole there goes this spark plug and then there is also this uh, this metallic uh, pressure cups what we which in these holes and then this camshaft those uh, those uh, camshafts to those areas they press this this areas in down and then this uh, valve opens this these springs are really really high high pressure springs in here and i mean that that area in here and and when when we like to take this this uh, valves out we need to compress this springs and then there is small plate in here and this this system opens but now we are checking this this cylinder head and there is situation that that always when we are planning to check this cylinder head we need to normally take that out and we need to disassemble this cylinder head and uh, and now I have made that and there is by the way these holes in here where those big cylinder head bolts goes in that way and now I rotate this in upside down that we can do this this cylinder head check that is this okay or is this scrap or damaged cylinder head and this this cylinder head is by the way aluminium and and we this is not very heavy this this weighs something like 10 to 20 pounds and something like 10 kilos and, and now now I have ro rotated this cylinder head in upside down and in that area th this is the most important area because when we look in here in that hole there is this spark plug in this hole and now I have taken that spark plug away and then there are those four valves those <coughs> bigger valves they are always intake valves because there, there comes this gasoline in that area and those smaller ones are those <coughs> exhaust valves and first check when we are checking this this cylinder head is that we look this this through all of these metallic areas in here and we try to find any any bad damage or faulty things or some other things things uh, like uh, uh, fr fractures or any any cracks in here and now when I check this area and we, we go through this this uh, full area in here all areas in here that is there any any small lines in here what are not normal and now when I check this I can't see any any ho holes or extra lines in there and then then this was the first visual checking and I think that 
now this is okay and next next step is that in some cars when I, I had one car about 10 years ago there was a thing that that those valves there was even small parts were missing in this valves and it's also good to check that that do we have all valves in here and and, and then when I look these are all all okay and here they are also fine no and, and this is only a small amount of this uh, this fuel fuel those particles in here but we we need to clean also those small black things away and then this area all valves are okay and and then here all valves are okay okay now now we have checked those things and um, then there is the next the most important check when we have cylinder head and there is situation that if if your cars there is, has been damaged ha happened this overheating or boiling that that this our temperature meter has been uh, went to went to this red area then there is risk that this 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 line is not striked and this is not not any any more level and plain plain surface and and if there is any any twist or uh, this uh, propel propel uh, possibility in this cylinder head then then this is this is uh, damaged cylinder head and and we have a possibility to mill or machinery or grid grid this uh, uh, this aluminium something like maybe couple of of millimeters or those very very small amounts we can cut in this area that we we could get this in line and stri striked striked plane because it's the most important and and how we measure that that is this uh, striked line this this cylinder head plate and this surface or is there any twist or uh, some kind of rotation that this is even little bit uh, rotate in that way I saw that what what I mean and, uh, and here here is what I mean that if there uh, that this is like this surface and and it must be in directly in that line and if there is any any rotation like in this way that this is not not any any more surface plane then we have in troubles but this is like a very big tube but this is bad if this plane is that way because it, it must be indirectly in so straight lane that possible and for that I have metallic metallic liner and and for that measurement we need good quality metallic liner and when when I install this liner in 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 here in that way and and quite soon if I little bit move that in in this way I press and if I can feel really big clump like in something that we have I do a demonstration that that we think that hey there is a big clump then we need that this this cylinder head is not anymore striked and and that's that's we need that kind of liner what is now in in my my face this is like three to four feet long and then we need to little bit move that cylinder head that that I can check that that is this is this is this right or not and, and now I, I rotate this little bit I rotate this okay now now we have better view 
Okay, it's now in in other side, and then then I do so that I I move that a little bit nearer. We can, and now now we have this straight line in here, and and for that we need this liner next, and I install that liner in here, and then when this liner is is in that way, and we can't feel any 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 tolerances in here, then we can think that this surface is is striked and the cylinder head is okay, and. And, and then there's when we like to be really professional when we keep that in, in this way then we could insert in that small hole very this thin measurement stick that we measure in here this uh, tolerance between this liner and then this cylinder head and also in here and, and then when we do those measurement things we can notice that that in, in in here, in here, and in here, that this this must be in all areas directly in line. And this is this cylinder head's most important thing that it must be in striked. Okay, and this was this information that how I check that is my cylinder head. Okay, and then of course it's good to check, of course, in visual that that, that here is no that in this in, intake or ex exhaust uh, holes that there is no any cracks or things that there is something missing. But now I think that that I I have checked this cylinder head and and this is this is ready for this uh, motor assembly because. This is the uh, those important parts in this. The second important parts in engine. Most important in this is the cylinder block uh, and and pistons and then this cylinder head. Okay, and this was information that how to check and how I check this the cylinder head condition that it, it is okay. Okay, and thank you for watching and we continue.